Johnny Depp recalled hideous experience in $45 M flop as just fake things he had been smoke-free for 2.5 years when he first met Amber Heard, but was tempted to pick up the habit again. American actor Johnny Depp is known for his distinctive and enduring performances in films like Sweeney Todd, Edward Scissorhands, and Pirates of the Caribbean. His long-lasting career, spanning several decades, has brought him praise for his distinctive character interpretations, making him a well-known figure in Hollywood. Aside from his work in movies, Johnny Depp has been a contentious character in the media who has been involved in a number of legal and personal scandals. His portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean films has become a cultural touchstone, and his dedication to playing different parts has had a long-lasting effect on the film industry. Invoking a sense of defiance, European flair, and a rough exterior, smoking is a suitable metaphor for Johnny Depp's self-image. Amazingly, he managed to stop smoking for two and a half years. This abstinence was put to the test, though, in his movie The Rum Diary where he had to smoke in almost every scene. The temptation of nicotine came to him once more on the return trip. Trip. One whack on that awful little cafe cream cigar that Bruce Robinson was smoking. It only took one hit, or boom, to end it. Robinson, on the other hand, relapsed and began drinking again while the rum diary was being made. In the same movie, The Rum Diary, Johnny Depp first met Amber Heard, his ex-wife. Hunter S. Thompson's book was adapted for the big screen in 2011 with Johnny Depp as journalist Paul Kemp. This story takes place in Puerto Rico in the 1960s and explores Kemp's adventures, journalistic aspirations, and meetings with corruption against a background of rum-infused intrigue. The film combines humor, societal criticism, and Depp's compelling performance.